So for the entire week almost, I've been talking about annuities, fixed rate annuities, variable annuities, um, deferred annuities, all types of annuities. It's all I've been talking about this entire week. But I haven't actually made a video recommending any companies out there as far as where should you actually go to to actually find the best annuities possible. Now, I wanted to make sure when I actually made this video and did all my research, I basically found out that basically a lot of websites out there that recommend a company, they're recommended because in a way they are affiliated with those companies and they get some money back when you sign up with them. And there's nothing bad with that or wrong with that. But in reality, I wanted to make really an unbiased video. So for this video right here, you will not find any links down below saying, hey, sign up with this company or that company and then get $50 off or whatever off or one year off, whatever it is. Like, no, you won't find any of that. You will find those companies in the description, but you'll have to Google them yourself and do some research yourself because I want to just bring you information without being associated or bought in by one of these companies. Now, obviously, when looking for companies, I wanted to make sure I found companies that have stood the test of time. They've been around for a long time, longer than I've been alive for sure. On top of that, their size is massive because if something goes wrong, you wanna make sure the company has enough assets and money to basically be able to withstand whatever happens, okay? That's a big pointer. On top of that, I also wanna make sure that the bracelet have great customer service and they're all around America, all over the 50 states. So this way, if you're interested in one, it's actually available. Now also while doing research, I basically found out that there are some good companies out there like USAA, that they offer great annuities in a sense, potentially, but they do have caveats. Like you need to have be a part of the military or have been a part of the military or have be, for example, a spouse of a military person, you know? So there is a lot of like if and buts, and you gotta be a part of this. So I wanna find companies that don't have that many requirements. And I also wanna find a company that if you have, for example, an employer, they could actually switch you over to them so you can potentially get even a better deal, potentially. But most of these companies, you can buy from them directly and they have a vast amounts of products and exactly what I wanted when I was actually building up this list. Now, the first company, guys, is going to be Mass Mutual Life Insurance Company, and they've been around since about like 1851, so they're very old. They have great customer service, as I've been told, and on top of that, also, they're available in all 50 states, and not just that. So, Mass Mutual Financial Performance, let me zoom in right here. As you can see, they're number 100 on the Fortune 500 list. They have $1.9 in policy dividends. Um, they're actually um, 7 billion insurance and annuity benefits paid in, 252 billion in total assets, that is a lot, 34 billion in total adjusted capital, and right here you can see life company assets, total US sales, life protection in force, and you can see it basically goes up, that's actually a good sign. Um, on top of that, total US sales are actually going up also. Now this is basically me looking at it from a glance, but then you also have, for example, financial strength rating from other companies like Moody's and Standards & Poor's that actually rate these companies and they're saying, hey, it's actually pretty stable, it's actually pretty good, A++ rating, that's actually awesome. So my point is, when you're actually taking a look at these companies, you do care about their financial help. You do care that they're actually making money. You don't wanna say, this company makes a bunch of money, I don't like it. No, that's actually important, because that's what guarantees that you're gonna keep getting paid no matter what, okay? so. You care about the size of the company, the growth of the company, its sales, you care about its competition, you care that it can basically stand on its own, these things matter, and one of the biggest tests is basically time. And that's why the companies I basically showed you, they've been around for a very, very long time. That's something that you actually wanna care about because it means the company has a great size, has been around for a very long time, and the odds of it falling are not that Hi, okay? Because if you have a smaller company, it's kind of newer, a little better, but they don't have that many assets and a big tragedy happens, well, you're gonna have an issue. And if you notice, a lot of these companies, they're basically life insurance companies, but they actually offer annuities too because it's an annuity, it's just a contract between you and an insurance company that says, hey, you'll pay me this much and I'll give you this much indefinitely or for 10 years or 20 years or whatever the terms actually are. So it's usually gonna be life insurance companies that actually make these deals happen. Now, not just that guys, but this company actually basically 
actually manages about $252 billion in invested assets. And they actually sold last year, just in the US alone, about $39 billion in sales last year. Meaning the company is selling more insurance, basically can cover anything that actually happens, which is actually pretty important. And that's what you want to look for in a company. And they do offer, for example, immediate annuities, deferred annuities, variable annuities, fixed annuities, and that's what you basically want. And by the way, I wouldn't recommend anything but a variable annuity because when you get into fixed annuities, there are a vast amounts of better products out there, just like, for example, investing only into the S&P 500 like I do, okay? That's pretty much solid. Now, number two, guys, is going to be New York Life Insurance Company. Now, they've been around since about 1848, so they are a bit older than Mass Mutual. Um, they're available in all 50 states, and on top of that, they have revenues of about 44.1 billion, and they have around 670 billion dollars in assets. And right here are actually some of the highlights of, for example, New York Life. Okay, so as you can see right here, they have 30.7 billion dollars in surplus. 16.5 billion in total dividends and benefits paid to policy owners, 1.9 billion total dividend paid out, um, 1.1 trillion in individual life insurance enforced in the US. It basically means like how many people in policy they actually have in total that are actually active right now. Assets under management, 660 billion. Insurance sales, 1.4 billion. And here are even like more highlights from year to year. And you can actually see how the company has actually been progressing. These things matter a lot because you, you care about the health of the company that you are basically relying on to cover you for the rest of your life. So these numbers matter even if you don't think they actually do. Now, at this point, when you're comparing oranges and apples, well, not that, you're really comparing like oranges to oranges, you're just gonna look at, for example, what most interests you in these companies. Because both of these companies are pretty solid, great size, and they're pretty good overall. So then you wanna look into details, like how do they operate? Do I actually like them? Do I not like them? How's the customer service? What do they offer? You know, so you wanna do your own research based on that. And by the way, who do I recommend actually get an annuity? Well, someone that actually cares about longevity risk. Tell me, what is longevity risk? Well, that's the odds of you basically running out of money while you're still alive. Meaning, hey, I'm 65 years old, but I'm worried that I'm not going to have enough money before I basically die, okay? So you're worried about running out of money before that date actually comes. So what do you do? You buy an annuity, and this way you get, for example, a certain fixed amount of money every single month until you basically pass away. This way, you never have to worry about your income diving below that point and you don't worry that much. Now, by the way, I would only recommend you get, for example, an annuity as an addition to your retirement fund. So I wouldn't recommend that your retirement fund is an annuity because it's basically very terrible because you lose out on a lot of potential growth from your investment. So I would only say, for example, if I got to retirement age, and I have, let's say, a million dollars or $2 million. I will grab like 500K or a million dollars depending, and I will guarantee for myself a certain amount of money every single month. That way I'm good on that point. And then I'll have the rest of the money in my retirement account, basically growing and growing and growing. I'll take out a small chunk of money every single year. But if I have, for example, a certain part in history, which I'm a part of, when the market basically goes down like crazy, and I don't wanna worry about having to take money out during that time, I can still rely, for example, just on my um, money that comes in for my annuity every single month. That way you stress a lot less and you don't worry, but it's not like I would have all my money in an annuity because in reality, you never know what might happen. Now, thirdly and lastly, you also have MetLife annuities. Now, MetLife annuities, again, they've been around for a very long time too. They have a great size, they have good sales, but the big difference here is that they kind of stop basically selling person to person and they usually just work, for example, with like 401ks and retirement accounts with jobs and so on. So if you wanna look over your HR department and see exactly what they have available, they might have, for example, MetLife available to you. So just look into it, okay? But overall, that's what they're basically for. Now again, just to summarize here, me personally, as a person, okay, I would only go into an annuity if I'm worried about running out of money sometime during retirement. And I wouldn't dump all my money that I basically have available to me in an annuity. Because in reality, what I'm basically saying is I will give you this lump sum of money for this stream of payments until I basically pass away. That's an immediate annuity, okay? And it sounds great on paper, 
But if something happens to me tomorrow, then that money's basically gone. And in reality, I would want to have a big chunk of money somewhere else growing for me to basically increase my income also every single month potentially. So my retirement plan kind of looks like, hey, I have my money in my retirement accounts, like my Roth IRA, my 401k, but mostly like my um, taxable brokerage accounts. And then I'll have, for example, a big chunk of money there. But once I get to retirement age, let's say I'm 65 years old and I have like a million dollars in there or 2 million or 5 million or whatever. And I want to make sure I get, for example, $2,000 or $3,000 every so month or 5k every so month, I'll buy an annuity for a million dollars. And this is why I know, hey, no matter what, my income is not going to die below, for example, $5,000. Remember, annuities usually, most of them, they don't adjust for inflation. So if you're 65, you live until you're 90 years old, well, guess what? That's 25 years. Inflation is a big factor, right? And it's not going to adjust for inflation. So those are things you actually have to consider, okay? So keep that in mind. So if you're worried about running money, annuities might be good. But I wouldn't do annuities as if it's some sort of investment. It's more like an insurance policy for your income. That's why you're getting it from an insurance company. Although they want to market it to you as if it's actually an investment. But in reality, it's more of an insurance policy. I hope this video actually helps you guys. And again, these are three companies that I basically mentioned, but there are more out there. So do your research, look into them. And again, worry a lot, not about just what they offer you, but worry a lot about the size and the magnitude of the company, how long they've actually been around and the customer service, because those things matter a lot. I would not go with my local company that started out yesterday and is offering better rates or whatever. I don't care about that, right? I care about what are the odds that this company is going to fold when I mostly need this money to keep coming in, okay? So that's my advice. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. On top of that, up here is another video. Over here is my face. And as always, long-term team officially out.